Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is mine. Uh, this is a watch I picked up, a uh, second watch I picked up from uh, my uh, fellow Zelos enthusiast and watch collector, uh, Varun. Uh, you might recall I recently picked up from him a uh, Tantalum Hammerhead Generation 3 uh, watch. And that was one of three recently released specialized Hammerhead uh, Gen 3 Hammerhead watches. The other two being a Damascus um, Hammerhead case. And this one being a crystallized titanium case. Uh, those were watches that were released uh, some time ago. Sold out immediately. I was not uh, able to partake of that release for any of the three because I was uh, concentrating on another acquisition at the time. Story of all our lives, no doubt. But uh, it is a fortunate happenstance that I was able to um, concentrate on acquiring uh, first the Tantalum and now this watch. And it was also, whether it was coincidence or not, uh, Varun was eager to, I don't know about eager, but willing to sell me both watches uh, to thin out his collection, I, I guess. I'm not really, he has his reasons, I have mine. But anyway, inside the current um Aluminum Zelos uh, watch case. So I think they've been through like a dozen different type of watch cases over the history of Zelos. Is the um, number five of 50 crystallized titanium third generation hammerhead. Now, I don't know, uh, I, and I'm not really wanting to ask Zelo, uh, Zelo Elshin to give up any trade secrets, but supposedly there is a process, by the way, you can make uh, titanium look like this, which is somewhat unique. Uh, I didn't ask Elshin uh, because, I, quite frankly, I don't want to... Um, ask him to give up any kind of trade secrets or anything but it looks like it looks like stone uh, at, at first glance but it's smooth it's completely smooth to the touch even though it looks like you know crystal or crystallized it looks like it's fractured crystal material and there's a process to do that I'm sure but it, whatever the process is, it gives you a, a beautifully smooth texture. It kind of reminds me of granite. It, it's not nearly that heavy, of course. It's titanium. It's very lightweight. But it has the, 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 the feel and the look of, uh, and the only thing I can associate it with is a, a granite countertop. I mean, it, it really has that look and feel to it. It's beautifully made. And I love the sunburst. Oh, not sunburst. I'm sorry. Not, that's the wrong word. It's kind of a fume blue dial. It gets darker as you go outward. That contrasts beautifully with the gray, uh, medium gray of the case and the gray of the FKM rubber strap. And I know I've said in the past that I'm not a big fan of, F of rubber straps, but these FKM straps are just different level. They're not sticky. They don't smell funny. They're smooth. They're supple. Uh, they look great. I love the, the, the texturing. 
up here on the top. They have a bit of a channel here to allow your wrist to breathe. And FKM rubber straps have made me a fan of certain rubber straps. Now, there are rubber straps out there that are cheap pieces of crap. And I will not like them at all, but uh, this FKM strap is beautiful. You have a, uh, a black tang buckle, which matches up beautifully with the crown. It's a loomed and signed crown. And on the back here, you have the typical um, Hammerhead Generation 3 artwork on a um, 316L stainless steel case back. And I believe right there where my thumb is, is the serial number, 5 of 50. I think that, no, that says Zelos. Sorry, maybe it's over here. God, I wish I had good eyesight. It might be there. Anyway, you can probably see it better on, on, on your screen than I can through a camera lens or through an iPhone screen with crappy eyesight. Well, let me put this on. And I mean, I've reviewed Generation 3 hammerheads many times. So, I mean, there's nothing... I mean, we're not reinventing the wheel here in terms of you know what this is. I mean, we all know what it is. We all know its size. And everything. I'll go over that in a minute. But it's not any different from the the size of the watch. It's not any different from any other generation three hammerhead. It's got a short, stubby case, short lugs. So even though it's a pretty, it's a fairly thick watch. Um which the thickness uh, I didn't write down for some stupid reason, but I think it's around a 15 millimeter thick watch. Even, even with the thickness, uh, a person with a smaller wrist, say about a six and a quarter to six and a half wrist because of the short lug to lug, um, this can be worn by a variety of uh, wrist sizes. Although you're not going to mistake this thing for a, a, a dress watch. It's not going to slide under a cuff very easily. But it is a fantastic sports watch. Uh, let's see. I have my uh, sheet of facts here. So I'll go over the vital statistics with you about this beautiful Gen 3 hammerhead. Pardon me. Uh, crystallized titanium. Limited edition, five, uh, this is number five of 50. Um, it does have a double dome sapphire crystal and it's fairly flat. Titanium bezel, 120 click, full loomed, of course, and it's Solid. Once you lock that thing into place, that is going nowhere. As I said, we have a, 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 a Fume style dial, although it does have an element of sunburst to it. You can see it there. So I guess it's both Fume and sunburst. Uh, FKM rubber strap, I went over that. You have an NH35 movement uh, inside. And yes, these watches were not cheap. And yes, they use an off-the-shelf NH35 Seiko movement. I'm not going to re-hash re, uh, the uh, nonsense uh, about movement snobbery. I'm just not going to do that again. I've ranted and raved about that enough. I have no problem uh, paying for a watch like this with a Seiko movement in it. If something goes wrong, it's easy to repair. And that, and the fact that micro brands like Zelos, like Boulder, like um, NTH, uh, like uh, all of them, use off-the-shelf Japanese movements or, or lesser, lesser expensive but still very capable Swiss movements, or even some of them using Chinese movements. Although maybe not them so much, but the ability to concentrate on style and design 
and not have to re uh, worry about you know will the movement that they that they pick hold up to the test of time. That's the essence of the micro brand. It is a 44 millimeter diameter case. It is 48 millimeters on the tip to tip, and it is a 22 millimeter lug. Uh, I did not write down the the thickness i from memory i think the thickness is about 15 millimeter i might be a little off but it is it is not a thin watch but it's certainly uh not the thickest watch out there and in contrast to the gen 1 and gen 2 hammerheads which were 1000 meter water resistance uh the gen 3s are 300 meter water resistance they are a smaller watch uh, with a smaller crystal and smaller case than the uh, Gen 1, Gen 2. Doesn't mean they're any less capable with respect to uh, if you want to take this thing on a dive. I mean, 300 meters is, is, is what? About 1,000 feet? I don't know what the exact conversion is, but uh, how many of you guys are actually going to dive in this with, with your dive watches more than snorkel depth probably not not many and if you're doing scuba diving you're probably using a dive computer anyway so the dive watch in in the modern era is more of a style than anything else but if you want to take it swimming great idea with this watch just make sure that crown is screwed down and you get your full water resistance and you don't get water back in here and have to uh, take the watch in for service. Beautiful watch. Um, really, really glad that Varun uh, agreed to sell it to me. Uh, very, very blessed that I was able to do this. And very, very happy to wear it. I I've been wearing it uh, quite a bit lately. Uh, you know, the honeymoon period. But I, I know I'll be wearing this watch a lot because I tend to wear my Zelos watches uh, most of all. But I hope you found this video to be entertaining, uh, useful, informative, and all that. If you did, click that thumbs up button for me. The more likes a video gets, the uh, more likely it is to uh, appear on uh, search, search results for YouTube, and that brings people to the channel, and that's a good thing. It only takes a second, so please click that thumbs up button. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to try to troll me, or you're going to leave links to bad places on the interwebs, I will simply delete the comment, and I will block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found my channel. I hope you enjoyed yourself here. Uh, please, before you leave, uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button down there at the bottom of the view window. And if you've been here before but you haven't subscribed yet, what's stopping you? It takes a second to click that button. When you do, don't forget to click the bell icon too so that when I upload new material or I do a live stream, you will be alerted. As I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. It is not getting any better. Trust me. So please, when you're out and about, be safe. Be careful. Stay well. See you soon.